welcome, welcome. Day four, January 4th, 2020. I've already gotten three days done. Wow. And now you're waking up for the fourth day, or whatever you're watching this. It premiered at 5 a.m. Again, welcome to Improve with Joe. This is the daily video, quote a day, word a day. Five minutes long, 5 a.m. From now until forever. So let's get into it. Word of the day today. Let's get the rip. Ah, indispensable. See if it drags it. There we go. Back on me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Indispensable. That which cannot be dispensed with. Can't be done without. A particularly good guidebook might be described as indispensable for. What is indispensable in your life? What can you not do without? Is there really anything we can't do without? I mean, friends and family are indispensable. Food and water is indispensable. Depends on your level of which on that way. You only need water every three days. Do you need family every three days or once a month? I think we can all figure out that after COVID, we need more family and friends than once every 30 days. Maybe every 14 days, it's the COVID quarantine. But either way, indispensable. Absolutely necessary. Quote of the day. The sky is no longer the limit. Anyone want to guess on that one? Any idea? It was a president. No? No? Richard Nixon, 37th president of the United States. That's what he said following a lot of the advancements with the space race. Um, whoops. Unfortunately, Nixon drew back our space uh, exploration program. We were going farther out and farther out after going to the moon. We had plans to go further, develop long range shuttles and all this kind of stuff. This is what the NASA astronauts wanted, NASA engineers and astronauts wanted to do, but he controlled it and brought it back in closer and just like inter, interstationary, interplanetary. No, geocentric orbit, there we go. All of our stuff is geocentric orbits for satellites and stuff like that. It's all very, very close to the planet. Unfortunately, we've stayed close to the planet, but in two years, Elon Musk should be bringing us out farther outside. Farther outside, so the so the quote still applies: "The sky is no longer a limit." By Richard Nixon. Wanted to update y'all about the color of law. If anyone was interested in reading it, if you're not interested in very in-depth political, uh, historical-based topics, don't buy it. If you are interested. Buy it. So far, I've gotten a very, very good example from San Francisco about how state actions or non-actions about person actions and you know individual preferences can lead to either de facto or de jure. Mm. De jure, not de jure. Basically, two different kinds of segregation. One that's intentional. One that's just you know, intentional through state actions, and one is just a product of the world and everyone's preferences and what happens sometimes. And uh, sometimes that's a hard distinction to make. Uh, some people don't even view there as a distinction there. So yeah, very interesting topic, but definitely uh, in depth. The other thing that I'd like to talk about, basically, Trump was caught on tape trying to pressure the Georgia Secretary of State into finding votes. And there's a lot of details to this, but basically what you need to know is that Trump again sounded unpresidential, but there isn't anything clearly illegal, but on some sides there are. So it really comes down to your opinion on things. And with it only being two days before the Georgia election for the Senate runoff and only like 17 days before the actual end of office, I don't think it's gonna do anything, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Taking it day by day, that's all you can do. And honestly, it shouldn't affect you or what you're doing. Keep on your plan, whatever it is, nutrition, fitness, you know, trying to have better family communication, trying to improve yourself, trying to figure things out, learn a new hobby, keep at that. Know that no matter what happens in each day, you have a better likelihood of being successful if you stick on your plan. If you not stay in your lane, but if you keep Keep your plan and don't let certain things distract you. Don't let what cannot, what you cannot change distract you. Be aware of it. Acknowledge it. Talk about it. Let it be a thing that you incorporate into your life. But don't let it distract you to the point where it's going to throw you off or make you feel bad or anything like that. Because it's not, it's not needed at this point. 
in 2021. You got this. You're in control. You are okay. Go out there and kick some ass. And have a great day or afternoon or evening or night. See you later and see you in the next one.